Very often, when you receive a push notification, it brings you to a page within the app, but once you leave that page, it can be difficult to navigate your way back to what was being highlighted to you in the first place. With Pulsate, your push notifications have a destination. Once a user opens either a push or in-app notification, they are brought to the feed to view the card for that campaign. Building out these cards for your campaigns is simple. Let's take a look at how you can create one. To start, give your campaign a name. We're going to send a special offer out to all loyal customers of the taxi app Drive. We are now into where you can start creating the front of your card. From the list on the right, at least one widget must be chosen. The first option is personal message. This widget allows you to send a campaign as though it is coming directly from someone in your company. You can also choose to use merge tags here so you are greeting the customer by their name. Both of these options create a more personalised experience for the end user. Next, you can drag and drop an image into your campaign card very easily and also crop it to a size you're happy with. Choosing eye-catching imagery is best to get the message across to your users clearly. In the next two fields, you can type the text you want to convey the special offer with. We would recommend that you keep the headline short and snappy and one line is best. You can give more information in the text field, however, it is also best to keep this concise so that the call to action button is still visible to the end user at the bottom of the card. You can move the widgets on the right or round to change the layout of the different cards you send. For each campaign, you can decide to keep the reply functionality turned on or you can turn it off for certain campaigns. Next, you can choose where you would like to send the user from the call to action button. The back of card, this means you can give the user more information such as terms and conditions or the days that the offer is valid. A deep link allows you to bring the user to a page within your app or a URL where you can bring your users directly to a web page. The last step on the front of card is the in-app events. By putting a tag on the call to action button, you can use that data for analytical purposes or to send similar campaigns in the future to users who tapped that button. For further information on building out cards for your campaigns, follow the detailed steps below.